tonight from Soldier Field in Chicago. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Mitchell Trubisky and the Chicago Bears taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Green Bay Packers. from Chicago from the 10 and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line time to see the offense for Green Bay go to work Aaron Rodgers leading them what a career it's been came into the league back in 2005 as the number 24 pick out of Cal I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the poster boys for persistence and belief in self because coming out of high school he had zero scholarship offers in the D1 level went to a junior college went to Cal and just blew up there and then of course is a first round draft pick but a lot lower than what he expected in the first round and then had to sit behind Brett Favre for a few years in Green Bay before getting his shot now he's probably one of the better quarterbacks that we've seen come down the pipe now the man from UTEP this is Aaron Jones and he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Mitchell Trubisky taking the field to lead Chicago. Trubisky, the Ohio native, went to North Carolina, then drafted by these Bears as the number two pick in 2017. I talk with people around the league about Mitchell Trubisky when he's coming out of North Carolina. Those that had questions about him they often centered in on the fact that he was only a one-year starter and wondered why he couldn't beat out the guy ahead of him beforehand. I just locked in on the athletic ability, the accuracy, and then once he got the football, how the team responded to him. I think his upside is Big. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they'll begin by running the option. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Handed inside, quarterback tucks it and keeps it, quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. Five yards remain on second down. Out of the gun, Trubisky, and that'll be incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And this one too low. Brings up third and five. Three, 
They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Packers take over first and 10 at their own 32. -yard. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at about the 32. He'll set up the throw from the gun. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him nine there on the first end completion. A gain of nine brings up second and one. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first down, Rodgers. Got a man, it's Tanyan complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Rodgers now on first down. And Lewis has it, the tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it, no yardage. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Rodgers to throw once more. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Adams. Rogers. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Rodgers again now. Brings up fourth down, solid coverage by the Bears' D. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. Three. 
So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or in this case, a field goal. Field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Rolling to his left. He's going to take off with it. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. These two teams all tied after one. Score tied 3-3. Three, three. down here's the run with Montgomery and he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30 all told it's an even 30 and a first down they went with the nickel look defensively so they had five defensive backs in there didn't help them stop the run yeah I love that the nickel look five sets five DBs but what also happens then you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy so you're taking a big off for a little and oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky, rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. So second and four from the 22. Now Trubisky. That's caught by Montgomery. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. From 17 yards out. And the Bears have taken the lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> Davis from the top row. <laughs> I like it. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. That time, a six-play drive. And it was all capped off by Mitchell Trubisky's touchdown run. Touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. That's thrown quickly out wide to Lazard. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the Bears' 47-yard line. Throwing on second and three. Rodgers over the middle. That's caught by Adams. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And a reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. 
understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. His throw incomplete. Robert Tanyan was the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Leads to second and ten from the 25. Throwing again. Rodgers. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A nine-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. For the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And the 13-year man puts it through, and that'll bring him back within four. Bears 10, Packers 6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Turn. Here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal blocker? A hold. Let's see. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. The holding penalty and negates a good return as they'll start just past the 20. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And he completes it to Cohen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Throwing here, Trubisky. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Trubisky to throw. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. 30-yard line.
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on out and try to get three before halftime. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to six. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it all that remains is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play so we have reached halftime with a touchdown that's the difference on the scoreboard as we'll send you down to orlando and we check in with jonathan coachman for our ea sports halftime report coach okay right brandon thanks very much and welcome in everyone to this slimmed down version of the ea sports Halftime report. We just watched a fine first half from quarterback Mitchell Trubisky. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. The Bears offense led by Mitch Trubisky heading back out there. And he's been busy with his feet. He's the scrambling man. And obviously that can break down a defense. But a lot of it is just that they just get trapped with worrying about it so much that other things break down as well. You know, you break the huddle, and you're not just playing what comes out at you. You're like, oh, God, don't let him outside of the pocket. Don't let him beat us with his legs. And then he starts to beat you other ways. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky. Cole Komet, the intended receiver, and it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He can run for it, and he will. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down.
Here's Pat O'Donnell now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. The Packers take over first and ten. At their own so here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, it's a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. He's got Adams on the hook up. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue, not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He hauls it in. Valdez Scantling for the Packers touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done.
It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's right through, and we are now tied at 13. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Chicago offense set to get started, and their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Shotgun is Trubisky. He completes this into the hands of Miller. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards in the Chicago first down. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Trubisky on first down. And he finds Montgomery complete. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Back now at Soldier Field. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. After the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Here's Trubisky. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Bad 
find time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And he will have the Bears first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. First and ten, it's Trubisky. Steps away, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast, and a big sack. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Trubisky, and the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Four yards remain for second down. Now it's Trubisky. That is caught by Cohen. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. We've got this. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, it's Montgomery. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss there. Now third and 14. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. They run Montgomery. 
And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. A 30-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Packers 13. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Pat Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. So now Rodgers in the pack. Down 16-13, 57 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Counting down to 30 seconds remaining. To throw is Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Rodgers to throw. The left side completion to Jones. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Yards. Okay. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.